Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful morning and enjoying that sunshine that's starting to pop out from behind the clouds. This morning, I thought we could talk about the life cycle of a frog, just like we do in our classroom. And we have a story to read and we have our life cycle models. And I thought we could start by singing our tadpole song. That's some of our classmates' favorite songs that they sing. It goes like this. I see a mass of gooey gooey eggs down in the water. They wiggle and they jiggle until they hatch down in the water. The tadpoles swim around, they start to get bigger down in the water. They start to grow legs, something's changing down in the water. With four legs and lungs, I'll call them froglets down in the water. Their tail starts to shrink. There's something else I think down in the water. From ooey gooey eggs to tadpoles to froglets, and now they're frogs. It's true. So just like our song tells us, remember, first there's a frog, and that frog lays some eggs, and we call this group of eggs an egg mass. Can you say egg mass? Yeah. And then out of those eggs hatches something very special. It's a tadpole. And tadpoles are really good swimmers, and they start to eat a lot of things. They really like to eat green things algae in our classroom we feed them some cooked romaine lettuce that gives them all their vitamins and minerals that they need to grow so they get some algae and their romaine and they start to eat and eat and, eat, and they get bigger and bigger and then something else starts to happen do you remember from our song they start to grow legs something's changing so first they grow back legs and then they're a tadpole with back legs and then they grow front legs and we call them something different. Can you say froglet? Yeah, so once it has four legs, its tail starts to shrink and absorb in its body and something else is different when it's a froglet. Instead of breathing underwater like a tadpole does with its gills, the froglet starts to breathe like we do. It starts to develop lungs so if you can hold the side of your body and take a deep breath in and out, maybe one more time, really big breath and out, such nice big breath. And that's because of your lungs, just like our froglet now has. And as its tail gets shorter and shorter, then it turns into a yeah, a frog. Such a neat and beautiful life cycle. And we talk a lot about a certain type, a certain really interesting word in our classroom that means the change that a creature might go through. So it changes from a tadpole into a frog. And it's a pretty significant change. Does anybody remember what word that is? It starts with a m, m sound metamorphosis. Can you say metamorphosis? Yeah, that's a tricky one. Um, so the life cycle of a frog is really interesting. And I thought maybe we could read this book called Tadpole to Frog. It's a little bit, a little bit more about it. Ooh, there's a mom and a dad frog. It says that the frog goes through many changes in its life cycle. Let's learn more about this transformation called metamorphosis. A mother and a father frog lay thousands of eggs. Wow. That's a lot of eggs in the pond. A frog hatches from an egg, but it does not look like a frog yet. What does it look like? A tadpole. Can everyone say tadpole? Yeah, there they are coming out of their eggs, just like we saw in our classroom. The tadpole lives underwater and uses gills to breathe. Its long tail helps it swim. Tadpoles are such good swimmers, it's true. That tail helps them move through the water really quickly. 
and their gills help them breathe underwater. The tadpole eats small plants and algae. It grows and grows. So there's the tadpole when it hatches. And then it's getting bigger and it grows back legs. And then it starts to sort of change in its face. Oh my goodness, let's see. Yep, look at that. Its tail starts to shrink. And then it grows front legs. Now we call it a froglet. Can you say froglet? Yeah. Look at that froglet. It's almost ready to leave the water. Its tail is just a tiny little stump and its gills are starting to disappear so that it has lungs. Remember, take a deep breath. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Deep breath with your lungs. There it is. The metamorphosis is complete. The tadpole is transformed into a small but fully developed frog. Instead of gills, the frog now has lungs and is ready to do what? Maybe do some jumping. They're still pretty good swimmers. They definitely like to eat lots of bugs. It says the frog swims in the pond. Frogs are amphibians. They live both on land and in water. It's a beautiful frog. After two years, the frog is finally an adult. It eats insects, snails, and worms. Then the frog hop, hop, hops away. <laughs> That's a great book. Thanks for reading with me. So we'll do one more review of the life cycle of a frog. So first, the frog lays eggs, right? And there's its eggs. We call it an egg mass. You can say egg mass. Yeah. And then out of the eggs hatch a tadpole. Lots and lots of tadpoles. One tadpole comes out of each egg. And then that tadpole starts to eat and it gets bigger and bigger and then it grows back legs. And then it grows front legs. And then we call it a froglet because it has four legs and it's building its lungs to breathe and its tail starts to shrink. And then it's a froglet. And then once its tail is all the way absorbed into its body, what do we call it? And then it's a frog. That's right. It's a beautiful life cycle to study. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you have a really wonderful rest of your day. Thanks everyone.